What up folks, Alex here and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Now adjustment clips, in my opinion, are one of the best new features of DaVinci Resolve 16. They'll make your life easier and save you a hell of a lot of time. So what are they? Well basically there are additional layers you can add onto your timeline which allow you to apply transforms, crops, dynamic zooms, colour grading which you can easily and quickly replicate anywhere all across your timeline. Now that sounds confusing, but actually they're really simple and they're really easy. So let's boot up Resolve and I'll show you how it's done. Oh, one last thing before we actually get into it. I'm filming this on my brand new Osmo Pocket. So do let me know what you think of the quality in the comment below. Right, let's get DaVinci going, shall we? So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now as you can see, I've already set up my timeline and I've set up some demonstrations for you. So the first thing, head over to the Effects Library button up here in the top left, and then you should see the Toolbox on the left hand side, Expand Toolbox, and then click on Effects, and it's the adjustment clip that we're interested in. So I'm just going to click on it here and drag it onto my timeline. Now it's important to note that you don't drag it onto the same track as the clips that you're trying to adjust. You always put it above. Now the first example I'm going to show you is a quick zoom cut right into the face. So you see it a lot in people's vlogs or gaming videos or when someone says something funny, it zooms in really quickly to the face and then zooms out again. First thing I'm gonna do is pick my spot where I want to zoom. So I want right here, five minute Friday. So I'm just gonna put my adjustment clip about there. And that'll be roughly right. So now I'm gonna put my playhead inside the adjustment clip. And I'm gonna make sure it's selected on my timeline. And then I'm just going to go to the inspector and I'm going to transform it to zoom in and then just adjust the position a little bit. If you don't know how to use these transform tools, there's a link above to my transform five minute Friday. So this is the cut that I want. I want it to zoom in to this point here and I've got my adjustment clip all done. So now if I put my playhead back, it'll zoom out and as soon as it hits that point, it will zoom in and then back out again. So really quickly zoomed in and zoomed out again. Now the really handy thing with this is I can now click on the adjustment clip. I can right click and do copy or I can use the shortcut control and C. And then I can control V to paste it anywhere else on my timeline. So I can set that up once and then I've got it ready. I say something else funny again. Exactly the same thing. Wherever you place that adjustment clip on your timeline, it will automatically quickly zoom into that point and then zoom straight back out again. Now in this example, I've got a cinematic shot of an Aston Martin going over this dam. Now it's nothing wrong with it, it's not a bad shot at all, but it goes on for a little bit too long and I want to break it up. So I'm going to drag an adjustment clip down here to about there. Make sure it's selected, put my playhead somewhere in it so I'm adjusting the right thing. And I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to zoom and then I'm just going to add a bit of an angle just to make it look a little bit more interesting, make it look like a different clip. And we'll shorten it a little bit as well. So if we just hit play, there's a regular clip. And as soon as it hits the adjustment clip, it zooms in with a different angle. So it looks a little bit different. Now that looks okay, but it's a little bit abrupt for my liking. So what I'm actually going to do, click on my adjustment clip, then drag these markers in and in to give it a bit of a fade. So what it will do now is fade into that clip and then back out again. Now in this example, this is where I've got my picture in picture. Because the adjustment clip makes the adjustment to everything underneath it, you can affect both of these clips by just adding and amending an adjustment layer. So to give you an example, if I went to zoom in to this clip here, obviously it'd just zoom in to my picture within the picture. If I click on this video and zoom, it's just that one. If I select both, and zoom, it does weird things because it adjusts them independently. What we want to do is treat both these clips as one and zoom into them all together. So again, I pop an adjustment clip down, I'm going to zoom, and as you see it's treating both clips as one and zooming in. A good example of this again is if I go to rotate, it's rotating both of them and treating it all as one individual image. Now in this example, We've got two pieces of drone footage. What we're going to do is just drag an adjustment clip down and I'm going to put it over the two of them. So I'm going to click on color 
And what you'll see is we've got the first clip, the second clip, but we've also now got the adjustment clip. So we've actually got the adjustment layer or the adjustment clip available to us within the color tab. So it's going to click on adjustment clip and I'm just going to do something really drastic. Let's bring those right down or we'll bring the mids right up or we'll give it a really dramatic look and then add some additional contrast. And there you go. Now I'm going to go back to my edit tab and we'll see it in action. So it looks like that as it is, that's straight out of the camera. And as soon as it hits the adjustment clip, it applies that color grade. And even onto the next clip, it's still applying the same color grade because the color grade actually sits within the adjustment clip itself and not the videos. So now we go here and it will ping back to the straight out of camera. And from here, we can make this go all the way to the end so that grade is covering the lot, or we can just cut it down, we can copy it, we can paste it, we can put it anywhere we like on the timeline rather than having to go through it and grade the clips separately. If this video was useful, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, pop a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye.